Hi, I'm Janet Lowell. I lead the Data Risk Practice at Deloitte in Canada. I'm very excited to be launching this new Data Risk series. Over the next few months, we'll be exploring topics such as data governance, privacy, and data analytics in internal audit. We are joined today by Tom Scampion. Tom is the co-global leader of the Deloitte Data Risk Practice and leads our data analytics practice in the UK. He brings over 15 years experience in data analytics and in information management. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. So Tom, data risk is a term that's used extensively today, but I don't think it's necessarily well understood by all people. I also think that it means different things in different contexts. Can you give me your definition of data risk? I think if you, you pair it back and you say, what is risk? Uh, and then you can think about how data can speak to the risk challenges. So for example, there's market risk, there's credit risk in the financial world, there's operational risk, there's strategic risk, there's audit risk, there's all categories of risk. I think what data risk is trying to do is to say, through better information management, through using data to drive insights, we can help understand and um, mitigate these forms of risk. So why is data risk important and why should organisations care? Well, I think over the last 10 years we've seen organisations recognise that the quality of their data isn't often good enough for them to make uh, informed decisions about some of the risk challenges they face. Uh, so there's been a recognition that data quality and data management uh, is increasingly important. And at the same time, I think the, the push towards having uh, evidence-based decision-making, which is data analytics, uh, is more important. So there's been an appetite to have fact-based decision-making combined with a concern about the quality of data, and those have come together to, to inform the data risk uh, market. I see. So data risk is about analytic insight and information management. Can you give me an example of how we've helped an organization better manage the data risk and some of the benefits that were achieved? Sure. So, so why don't I give you two examples? Um, uh, one for each area. So in, in the banking world, uh, capital adequacy is obviously a big challenge. Uh, the Basel initiatives, both two and three, oblige uh, banks to increase ever larger amounts of capital. And in order to do so, um, the, the data that flows through these models has to be right. If the data is not right, if it's incomplete or missing, then what you'll find is that the models oblige you to default to higher, higher levels of capital provision. So there's a, an immediate benefit. If you get the data right, the information management piece, you release capital, saving the bank money, and at the same time, you can demonstrate regulatory compliance. Um, on the analytics side, perhaps a, an interesting example is around consumer business, so, so retailers. Increasingly, retailers have a relationship with their customers which goes over a number of channels. Now, understanding the linkages between the way in which the customers react across those channels and then making sure they deliver on the promise they make to their customers is driven by analytics. And if we get that right, then I think it's great for the retailers and, and great for the customers too. Thanks, Tom. Those are great examples, and I'm sure they'll resonate with a lot of organizations who are dealing with similar issues. Now, for organizations who are looking to improve the way they manage data risk, how would you recommend that they get started? So I think the best place to start is with the data. Uh, it's the foundation for everything else. So, so what I would uh, suggest organizations look at is uh, understanding the data they hold in their organization, making some decisions about what that data needs to be in order for them to achieve their business objectives, and then start measuring the data and saying, well, is it fit for those different purposes? And, and at Deloitte, we've got great experience in helping organizations from every industry, really, uh, answer those questions. And uh, if you get the data right, you create that platform on which you can do so much else. Thank you, Tom. It's been a real pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you. We appreciate Tom's insight into data analytics and information management. Thanks for watching. See you next month.